Hey, good morning, everyone. Great to be with you today. Hope you had a good day yesterday. Uh, if you live here in the Pacific Northwest, you know that the weather is starting to change and it gives us some what? Gives us some hope that the rain is going to stop at some point. Wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, one of the things that people ask me all the time is they say, Pastor, how do I please the Lord? I want to I be pleasing to God. And there's this beautiful verse in Psalms um, where the Lord speaks and says that the Lord is pleased with those who fear him. Uh, that freaks a lot of people out. Uh, nobody likes to be afraid of the Lord. I, I, what, I have to be afraid of the Lord and that's what pleases him? But that word for fear the Lord, another translation is those who worship him. When you see somebody bigger than yourself, when you see somebody greater than yourself, when you acknowledge that somebody is more than you are. And I know in our society today that everyone has to be more and nobody is less than and we're all equal in the whole thing. But that is absolutely not true in the things of God. God is up here and we are down here. And if we don't come to that realization and come to that recognition, we'll, we will never please the Lord. It just will not happen because um, we're, we're trying to put ourselves on the same level as he is, the same uh, plane as he is. And we are, we are not. We are his children. He is our God. He's our King. He's our Savior. He's our Lord. He's our everything. And that pleases him when we acknowledge that. It's like when your kids acknowledge you as their parent. When they try to put themselves, you know, a little four-year-old puts themselves in the same plane as their parent. Hey, I don't want to eat that. I want to do this. And I should be in charge. And our teenager who says, hey, you're, I know more than you do. And you're not very smart and all this stuff. That is not pleasing to us. And so when the Lord says, hey, you want to please me? Worship me. Fear me. Recognize that I'm God. Recognize that I'm the Lord. And then you can have hope. You can have hope that spring is going to come, the rain's going to stop, that God's going to be there for you every day. And so that's that's my encouragement for you today. Please the Lord, worship him, and you'll have hope and trust in his love. Jesus, thank you, God, for that promise. And Lord, I do want to worship you. I want to worship with my friends this morning and recognize that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, that you are the sovereign God of all the universe, that there is no one like you, that you... Uh, are, are full of might and glory and honor and praise, and it all belongs to you, O oh God, that you are king and I am not. I love you, Jesus. I worship you. I want to please you today. In your mighty name, amen. You see how that works? Tell God how great he is, and you'll please him. Sure love you guys. I'll uh, be with you tomorrow. Have a great day.